At Brain Robotics, teleoperation is done using a full VR setup, headset and controllers. This allows for intuitive, immersive control with very low latency. However, during long data collection sessions, wearing the headset can become tiring. The gear is also quite expensive and requires a significant setup time. So, we explored several non-VR teleoperation methods to compare them. With the RGBD camera and the post detection model, it gives you very intuitive control of the robot, but it introduces a lot of latency and issues with occlusion during certain movements. Using a basic game controller is a minimal, low-cost setup. It's great for exploring motion ideas, but it feels less fluid and less intuitive. Teleoperating Richie 2 with Lorobo's SO100 allows to add haptic feedback, but it really limits the available workspace. Using Vive trackers offer high precision and a good fluidity, but it's more expensive and it takes longer to set up. In the end, the method that stood out the most was using Vive trackers, but it comes at a price. That's why we are currently working on a low-cost accessible alternative using printable Aruco cubes, something anyone could set up at home.